Wonderful day, everyone. Today we are going to set up follow and unfollow system to our social media app. Sit back and let's get started. Let's go to our Firebase collection and add couple fields to users collection. First field will be following users. This is document reference. Users. And it is a list. The next field will be users following me. And do the same thing in here. Then we can head back. I am going to create a new page. I am looking for template to showcase followers. This is perfect. Now remove the useless stuff. Change this text to I am following. And this text to users following me. Then take a copy of this container. Now go back to your profile page. And paste it in here. Then give this container a bit of padding. and drag it up here. Then copy this and go to your searched profile page and paste it in here inside of the column. and then drag it on the top. Good job. Then add a row in here. And inside the row. Create a button. Then rename this button as follow. Take a duplicate of this. Position these buttons to right. Give the row a bit of padding. Then rename this button as unfollow. Then change this background color to white. and this text color to blue. And also switch the border color to gray. Also give this a little padding so it looks better. 
then add action to this follow button. Action will be update document. Choose user's document and user reference. Then switch this to users following me. Add to set. Authenticated user, user reference. Then add a new action. Update document. Authenticated user, user reference. following users. Add to set. And user reference. Then copy this action chain and go to your unfollow button. Paste the action in here. Switch this to remove from set. And also this one. Then close this. Then add conditional visibility to this button. Single condition. Following users. List contains item. user reference. Is equal to true and confirm. Then copy this action. Add conditional visibility in here and paste the action in here and switch this to false and confirm. Then set up these. Users following me, number of items, number format, and compact, and default value is zero. Then in here, users document, following users, number of items, number format, compact, and also zero. Then go to your profile. This will be following users. Number of items, compact, and zero and also do the same thing in here. Users following me. Number format. Compact and zero. Then we can go to our home page. Make a duplicate of this list view. Now for the first list view, we add conditional visibility. Single condition. Following users. Number of items. Is greater than or equal to. One. Then copy this action. Paste it to a second list view. Switch this to less than one. And confirm. Then edit the query of the first list view. Add a new filter. Poster.
must be in. Following users. And confirm. Then update everything in here and make sure that your Firestore rules are not too strict. Otherwise, it may cause errors in the future. Then go to search profile page. Open up the button action. Add in here, navigate to home page and show snack bar. We do this in order to avoid spamming of this button. Snack bar's value will be user is being followed. Then close this. And now for the other button, add the same actions in here. And the value is user is unfollowed. Then we can try out our app. Now, if we go to our profile page, you can see that we have no followers and we are not following anyone. Now let's select profile three and follow. Now you can see that our feed only shows the profile three posts. If you want to showcase the followers, look at my previous video about how to ban users and use the same logic in here. Then let's follow another profile. And it updates in here also. Then let unfollow. and the post disappeared. And because we are not following anyone, now it shows all the posts. Thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe and I see you in my next video.